I thought I'd show you how I uh, approach making journal covers and uh, I'm going to <clears throat> choose a drawing that I've done of a chickadee. Uh, it's going to be a very simple um, pattern with the bird and a stamp background that I'll do later and um, I'm going to show you how I approach it. So I'm going to take uh, a number one thickness of white clay and I've taken my drawing and uh, just traced out some of the elements so that I don't have too many pencil lines. And then I'm going to put it upside down on the clay and just give it a light rub. So then when I pull it off, it transfers the drawing onto the clay. So then from there, I can just go ahead and cut out the image. I'm going to ignore the feet for now. I'll add them later. So that's the way I like to start them anyway. So basically what I'm doing is a relief carving. So uh, details pressed into uh, a certain layer of clay. If it needs to be built up more, then I'll add more clay to it as I go along. Now this could be an extremely long video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and film my process. But I'll probably speed it up so that uh, uh, it's not long and tedious. Um, so anyways, here we go.
Okay, I'm back. Um, I've got the lines pressed in enough for for my own uh, um, information. So what I'm going to do now is remove some of the pencil marks and just with a baby wipe and a little rubbing alcohol. And I'm not going to worry too much about anything that remains because some of it will remain in the uh, deeper recesses because I'm going to paint this bird later on with pan pastels. And uh, after that it'll be antiqued with paint, so all those deeper recesses will get a dark color anyways. And then I've made a little eye. I just pre-baked a little black um, bit of clay that I can stick in there. You could use a bead or whatever you like. Even raw clay would be fine. I'm just going to stick that little eye in there. Okay, and then we'll continue.